Hi everyone, welcome back to GeoGuessr. Today I'm going to be doing country streaks on Mapper's Europe map. So this is a map that includes the entire continent of Europe, including both European parts of Turkey and Russia. So I'm going to do no moving two minutes and let's see how many countries can I get in a row. So let's see. I do two minutes just so that I don't spend too long on any particular round. So the first round looks quite looks like somewhere in the eastern half of Europe. Maybe Poland. And we've got a yellow sign, so that does feel a lot like Poland. Okay, good. Moving on. So, we've got Spanish here. Yeda. Uh, let's see. So, we should be in um, the city of Yeda, which is over here. So, that's two. So, doing good so far. And this looks Scandinavian, with the style of the houses and the mountains. Are we in Norway? You wouldn't have mountains like this in Sweden, and it doesn't feel like Iceland. Yeah, this is it's definitely Norway. Okay, good. So we're on three. Right, what do we have? So, this looks a bit more tricky. Um, it feels like maybe Serbia, Hungary, Romania, somewhere around that region. And can we see anything on this house? Not really. We have a tractor. And it's quite hilly. Um, but not much to to go by here. Um, so, could this be Croatia, actually? Could this be Croatia? Just, just a vibe I'm getting. Croatia, Serbia. Romania, probably not. So, hmm. I'm going to try Croatia, but I'm not confident on this. It was Croatia, very good. Let's move on. So, we've got green sign, we've got Hungarian language. So we're in Hungary. Okay, so five, very good. So oh, I'm quite happy with that, that Croatia round. So let's do it again, two minutes. Right, what is this? We've got a railway, we've got a Gen 4 camera, we've got a very rural road, not much language, unless we have here some graffiti but I can't make it out so what could this be this is a gen 4 camera which rules out quite a lot of countries it feels somewhat central or eastern European maybe but I don't know I really don't know what this could be Got a lot of trees. We've got a yellow sign. Okay, that could help because you only find yellow signs really in Greece, Poland, some Scandinavian countries. I think Iceland, Finland, maybe Sweden. So it doesn't feel particularly Scandinavian to me. It doesn't feel like Greece. Have I missed any countries with yellow signs? Does it feel like Poland? 
It could be Poland. It could be. So, yeah, let's let's give it a try. It was actually France. Okay, fair enough. Okay. I don't actually remember if Poland has Gen 4. I think it does in a, in a couple of cities, but I don't know. It's very extensive. But yeah, that was a that was a tough one. So we've got five. Can we beat five? Now this looks like Norway. And you've got the yellow road markings which are very typical Norway. I guess fairly south because there's a lot of trees. Okay, yep. Yeah. So we've got one. And this should be easy enough. We've got a bike lane to Belgium or Netherlands. We've got a white plate which would point to Belgium. It's fake, okay. It's not Denmark because Denmark would be VEJ. And what else do we have? We've got a yellow plate here, so we could be in the Netherlands. And that was my, my thought actually. The the white plate was put, putting me off a bit. And I think these are very Dutch street lights, so let's go for the Netherlands. Okay, two, good. Okay, this looks very scenic. But it could also be a difficult round. I think they are Italian style signs. Um, do we have anything else? I can only see the back of these signs. We can't read very well, but I think that says de, de, so that should rule out Austria. And yeah, what else do we have? French signs definitely don't look like that. Um, and landscape does fit with Italy maybe in the borders of Austria or the Dolomites. Okay, pretty good. Moving on. So we're on three. Um, now my first thought looking at this house is um, the uh, very far eastern part of France near the borders of Germany. Um, you do get this, okay we've got Route de Paris so this should be France and you've got this very German style of buildings in this eastern part of France so we should be somewhere around here. Okay, yep, so that's good. We've got four. One more point away from beating our, our first record. So two minutes, go. Okay, we've got French signs here with the D roads. And next round. So can we beat our record? We've got five. And this looks like Russia. Is this Russia? We've got no blue on the plates. I hope it's not Ukraine. And I'm just thinking about that. I think I'm quite happy with Russia here. Ukraine just feels a bit different. Yep, good. So, this should be easy. Is this the Netherlands? We've got a yellow plate. And we've got a white plate here. No, it's yellow. So, yep, 
This is definitely Dutch. Okay. So we're on seven, pretty good. How well can we do? We've got an area that looks kind of Spanish. That's my first thought. And let's look at these plates. Hmm. That looks a bit like a French plate, and we've got a Renault here. So this could be the south of France, or even Corsica is a possibility. Residence Alzu, that sounds French. Alzu sounds even possibly Corsican, but it's not Corsica, it's going to be the, the south of France with this Mediterranean climate. So let's try this. Okay, good. Nice. Next round. And we've got another warm country. Hotel. Is this going to be Portugal? Is this Portugal? Let's see. I know Portugal has a lot of patterned pavements and stuff, but I can't quite get much out of this. And the landscape and the architecture does look Portuguese, but I am concerned about the possibility of it being Spain. Uh, don't, I don't think we're going to get any language here. So, I'm going to go for Portugal and um, hope for the best. Let's see. Oof. Are we? Yes, we are in Portugal, just about. Wow. So close to the border. Okay, excellent. We're online. I think I'm going to play this until I lose the streak, and that's going to be our first record. So what is this? We've got language, which is a lifesaver. La Pierre Foll, that sounds French. Are we in France? These, I think, are French bollards. I don't know if they exist in Belgium, but I think France is the best bet here. So let's try it. Yes, we're on 10. Next round. Okay, so this is a... Is this a Scandinavian house? Maybe? Oh, I'm not sure. What is this church? We've got these kind of double street lights which look a bit more Soviet or something. Something Eastern Eastern European. But this doesn't this is way too hilly to be a what's it? A uh, Baltic country. Way too hilly. And at first I thought this looked Swedish, but yeah, this these kind of poles look more not Scandinavian, but more Eastern European. Um, could this be Romania even? We see something like this in Romania, but it does feel a little bit odd for Romania. It does feel odd. But well, what else do I go for? It's, could it be Poland? Could it be Poland? Let's look at this roof. Um, if it is Poland, it should be southern Poland. Romania just doesn't feel right. Let's watch the time. 20 seconds. So, 
Do we have anything over here? I'm tempted to go... Mm. Yeah, I'm tempted to go Poland, but I feel like this could be wrong. It will be quite southern if it is Poland. Oh, I think we're okay. Yes, we are good. We are good. Quite close to the Ukrainian border. Okay. That was a that was a nice round. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Scenic views, yep, yeah, why not? Okay. So So we've got eleven, which is nice. And this is a Gen two camera. So are we in Germany? Let's see. You get this this rubbish Gen two with the halo. Is is only in certain countries and very common in Germany. So I think the way these kind of billboards look and the road and the cars, it does feel German. But that's a uh, technique, which, is, which sounds like a German word. German word. So let's go for it. It's okay. Yep. Which city were we in? There's only 20 cities covered in Germany. Oop. And we are in Frankfurt. Okay. So next round. We are in... We've got a Renault, so could we be in France? That was one of my first thoughts. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, I'm thinking France here. I guess this is a French bollard, but I don't know. So, because of the Renault and the houses, I'm going to go... Maybe a little bit south, somewhere here. Okay, good, 13. Very nice. Let's see if we can get more. Right, what do we have? We have a very scenic area. Let's look these houses. They look kind of Alpine, maybe Austrian or Slovenian. I think Slovenia could be possible here. It's kind of almost Alpine, but slightly Balkan at the same time. Let's look at this church. Um, that looks very Alpine. This is tough. I think Austria and Slovenia are the most likely here. So what do I go for? What do I go for? Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's look at the quality of the road. Okay. 38 seconds to decide. And I don't know. I'm going to go Slovenia. Could it be France even? It could be France, actually. Could it be France? I really don't know, to be honest. Let's go Slovenia and see what happens. Okay, it was... It was actually Spain. Okay. Yep, that was... That wasn't a great round to end with, but... 13 is a good streak. Let's look at that again. That looks... 
that really threw me off. I think I looked at that kind of half timbered house and I thought it looked almost German. But yeah, this this kind of brick house was throwing me off, and I can see that looking a bit more, a bit more Pyrenees, a bit more Spanish. And yeah, that was a that was an interesting round. Ace Corrie. Okay, so in the Basque Country, wow. Yeah, northern Spain is a difficult it's a difficult region to to get to know, I I find it can easily trick you. But thirteen is our record. Maybe we'll we'll play this again. And uh yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions, any for any kind of videos or what kind of videos you enjoy and um yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye